how to cut the neckline on a t-shirt that's coming up. Hello Fashion Zoa, I'm Colleen Geely and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to fashion sewing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So here we have our t-shirt. So we now need to just fold our t-shirt in half. So you're just gonna get the front layer. You just wanna work through one layer and that's the front. And you're gonna fold that in half. So we're going to match up the side seam. Put that there and put a pin in just to make sure I get that center, the centering of the t-shirt along this fold line here. And then it will be a case of spinning around a little bit, get the sleeve, and we're going to tuck that into the shirt, the, slip, the, the shirt into the other sleeve, like so. So that becomes one. The reason it's best to do it this way, you get better alignment and your work is centered because that's what you want. You want a, sh a shirt that's going to look nice and even once you have finished working with it. So I'm happy with that. So I put a pin here, which is to align the shoulders and make sure they're nice and straight. So I'm happy with that now. So that is nice and straight and flat. And so this is the front of the t-shirt and this is the back of the t-shirt and I'm just working on the one layer. Right, so the next thing to do is to measure from the neckline how far down you want that cut to be. So it's going to be totally your decision. So I've measured mine. Try a t-shirt on it and then first decide. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to put a pin in as a marker. There. And I am going to come in roughly about, yeah, I'll say an inch. So that's 2.5 centimeters. And you can either, the thing with doing a cut net line, you have a choice of what kind of shape you actually want. So it could be from this point here, you're going to do it as a V. You may want it to be rounded. Um, you may want it to be another V, but slightly curved. And the option that I am going to go for. So I am going to now get my scissors and just go for it. You can draw it in if you wish. That's no problem there. And if you're new to doing this, I recommend that you do that. So, and also if you're not quite sure that you want it to be whatever with you are thinking, just make it slightly smaller and you can always go back and recut. So I'm now cutting now. Taking a first cut is always a nerve wracking part, isn't it? Just keeping that straight, straight along here. Now I'm going to curve mine slightly. So I've got to kind of get my pin out of the way. I want to cut into my pin. And that's all that is required. So now cut away that section, take the pin out, and then all that is left is me to pull the sleeve out of the other sleeve so that you can see my new neckline. And there we have it. There's a new shape into my neck line. And like I said, you can do that any shape that you wish. 